interesting, mostly just because I, I if you play like a like for example in HDR, I just play Lucina and like who cares? That's the most yep. basic ditto of all time. Like I'll play the di <laughs> Lucina dittos as long as you'd like, but when you get to like the funkier characters, it, they can become annoying. You either kind of love or hate the Craig ditto. I, I know people on both sides of that one, um, but I feel like Claren is a character that isn't too strange, isn't too... doesn't have too many, like, super weird interactions in the Ditto, to the point where it's probably not that bad to play. Yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll definitely see. It's just... It, it's also, again, it just kind of becomes a Ditto, uh, or an ego thing for some people, like... Because you'll see, like, somebody lose a Ditto, and they're like, oh, that person is the better X character. It's like, no, they're the better X character <laughs> in the matchup, probably. In the matchup, but, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but these two... Seems like there's no problem here. Both of them, uh, you know, Claren mains in general. So we're going to see how this one plays out. We got that lightsaber duel going on. So we'll see how this one works out here. Right now, we do have Wisp taking a solid lead here, though. Ooh. Or not Wisp, excuse me. Uh, Woa. Yeah, Wong, that's something I, I, I'd like to see. Yeah, Rangunshu. <laughs> that's something I'd like to see people implement so far with Claren is that um, no charge neutral B tipper sends straight up and will yeah. go right into the up air, which is typically uh, one of Claren's more difficult moves to land, especially on the tipper. So people are finding actually really unique spots to sneak that in and mm. get those early up air confirms. Yeah. Jesus. And there we go, gets back to the ledge. <laughs> For, for a moment, because, like, I do know, like... Oh, uh, the double whoop. break! <laughs> <laughs> that was actually kind of crazy. <laughs> right, yeah, didn't even though. go for it that time. <laughs> Need the damage. That was so deep. I don't know if you make it back from that. No. Yeah, and that's actually one of the biggest things that like, I've noticed from just myself is just learning that, like, the magnet hands are not as friendly in this game as compared to, like, other platform players, so... No, they will, they will let you down if you're not tight with it, so... Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, luckily... <laughs> There's a couple characters that it's not too too bad, but you definitely have to be more aware because if you if you get lazy with it, someone will just hit you with an F smash with basically any character. <laughs> yep. No, I I've definitely noticed I've had my fair share, especially uh, air dodging in this game. Oh my goodness, that I'm like, hey, I'm safe. Know! Yeah. Okay, Rangunshu is firmly planted within Wisp's skull right now, <laughs> mm -hmm. fully aware of the options that he's going for and ahead in the stocks as well. Is there a confirm here? That should kill. Yep. All I was right, gonna say, if he lives, the stage lets you down in a big way. <laughs> <laughs> Especially on the, on the platform, too, and then a little bit above that. But here we go, getting right back oh, into no this. Oh, no jump! Oh, no, Wisp in a really dangerous spot here. Okay. Ooh! No tipper. Great parry, and It's though. interesting. Parry at the ledge just means you have no invulnerability. So a lot of people, you just have to figure out which option is your quickest to hit the ledge. Yeah. Uh, because it doesn't actually put the other person oh. in lag. Nice! Conversion! Rangunshu is so good with that neutral air. Yeah, Rangunshu is doing an amazing job here, too. Wisp, oh, just, yeah, bad. not really able to get anything in the in the motion here. And now, it's like, last time, you at least got some decent damage on, right? So, like, you kind of had oh, uh, no! a way to get the stock, <laughs> but even percentages going into this stock here. And there we go. Now starting to get a little bit of offensive action going on. Yeah, and it's kind of almost the story of the last game a little bit where Rungunchu is pushing these advantage stages just a little bit further. And it seems to be off the back of this neutral B implementation that Wisp doesn't really have. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. Okay. Back throw off stage. Okay. He's jabs in though. God, I love I love her new neutral B. Like, so is that much. real? <laughs> you can angle it up, so probably a little bit more real than something like a forward air would be, but I don't know if it's 100% true. Asking the wrong guy for me. <laughs> yeah, did you tell me? Do you know? <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. I just I like pressing the buttons. <laughs> oh wow, like, that, that was so slick. Oh, and the spacing on that down was just so nice. Whoa. Oh, that was nice. That's a Marth player. Yep. Slip, you, slip you know along that's a Marth player. Platform too, and then just kind of going right down into that down smash was actually oh, really, really my slick. God. That was very, very nice. Yep. Well, here we go into the stone pillars. We'll see how this plays out. <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> <laughs> Just grab him. Just grab him. <laughs> okay, there we go. We got one break. And if that I means game one day they go off, but we're going to get a lot of breaks here, so. I just, I feel like if you're, if you're Wisp at this point, stop going for the next option. Just take the grab. Yep. I'll throw into F smash, sending him off stage. Oh. 
up tilt, getting that dash attack. That Ooh, pressure okay. is insurmountable right now. Beautiful stuff from Ron Gunshu, but now Wisp okay, back on the goes for it. here. Yep. Finally gets a special bubble, or a, uh, just a regular bubble off the back of that wrong guess from Ron Gunshu. And the advantage state now being pushed from mm -hmm. Wisp. What's the pressure at the ledge? Okay, it must be real. It's hit too many times for me to believe it's not real. <laughs> we've we've discovered we've discovered it's real for sure. Oh, just barely missing out on that up air. If that up air hit, I was going home. I already nope. am home, but a different room, maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting on a different computer with a scuffed mic. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Right, on Gunshu right so nice on that little wave dash into the forward Ooh. smash as well. The close blast zone on this stage will mean those forward smashes will kill significantly earlier. So great option from Wisp and we should look out for that in the future. Mm -hmm. Wow, the up smash into the up air proves to be true and this never ends. Oh, That's a oh. jump taken too. That was so scary, especially just kind of drifting off stage the entire way down and you just have Ron Gunshu just, oh, what are you doing out there? <laughs> that I think was accidentally just drifting into the blast zone that was definitely livable yeah i mean it depends because like I, I don't i don't know there's, there's a lot of what ifs but ron was kind of like way out there just really on top of yeah you just get so, scared yeah it's kind of like one of those like uh you know fox side be all right you got it yeah <laughs> yeah you got it yeah, see you, you later <laughs> Plus, yeah, like, you so respawn good. pretty quickly, too, so there's a chance you could have just got back to the center stage and didn't just, like, really turn it around on him. So maybe that was part of the play. Who knows? That would be, like, 10,000 IQ. <laughs> yeah. If you're like, oh. I can ledge guard. Let's just die. <laughs> oh, wow. Like I said, this is what we're seeing. Wrong Gunshu is just pushing it that extra bit further. We have not seen Wisp have a sequence like that this whole game, let alone the game with Stango, and it's just proving to be too much to come back from. The neutral is looking good, but it's what happens after. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it, I, I mean, that's just kind of like the play of the game here. It's like, these guys will get their openings, and they're just going to take you for a ride for a while, so... Ooh, oh. okay. Wave dash Won't back on the platform. Maximum coverage. What's the pressure at the ledge here? Ooh, misses the grab, but... Oh my god, she's dancing <laughs> in his face. He actually said tippy toes. Ah, just was not ready for that tech roll in. Or the or was just a regular roll in. I I blinked. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, well, I thought he teched it for a second, but no, he absolutely did not. <laughs> yeah, just because you can get an angle on that where it sends a little bit outwards even if you're holding in, so no tech available at that percent. And Bronganchu going up 2 0 against Wisp now. Mm hmm. Okay. Now we're gonna see if Wisp has anything else in the gas tank here. I mean, it's kind of been a, a, a bit, a bit of, a, of a rough run here <laughs> for a Wisp. Uh, potentially 3-0 two times in a row, but like, I mean, I can't even fault Wisp because uh, Ron Gunshu and Stango, they're playing absolutely phenomenal this whole way through. So uh, I, I can't even say anything bad. It's These are tough opponents. Yeah, definitely very challenging, but I, like I said, Wisp is actually finding more hits in neutral typically than Run Gunshu is. It's just a matter of making those hits count for more. Yep, I agree. And here we go. This is another Game 3 scenario where Wisp takes the first stock. Uh, we'll see if, you know, the turn turn the tides of history here and not repeat what we just saw with Stango, but, you know, it is a nice little lead. Yeah, definitely something you can kind of rest your hat on a little bit, be like, okay, time to calm down, time to make sure that, you know, Reverse 3 0s happen. It's not unheard of. So making sure that you can push this lead as far as possible. Don't do anything too, too greedy. And yes, really nice way off stage. It doesn't snap the ledge. That's going to be big damage. Mm -hmm. Okay. And again, just kind of struggling to get some additional damage on the second stock here. But Rangunshu not struggling to find more here. Oh, that's themselves. it. Is that going to be too far? It gets the wall touch? No, yeah. just a little too sore. Unfortunate. And using that neutral B again, I would like to see Wisp, even just from this set alone, start implementing some of those because it looks so, so good. Especially in those offstage situations where you don't uh, want to kind of deal with how big Claren's up B is. You can just go out and contest it. Mm -hmm. I agree on that part. Yeah, it's definitely this new neutral B is uh, definitely a pretty solid kit. Our, our tool in the kit it, here. So. Okay, it's real. It's real. It's real. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dubbing it Confirmed. real. I've seen it. I've seen it hit six times in a row. It's real. <laughs> Unless Whiff's DI is some kind of awful. It's real. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm going to assume oh, that they- so Oh, so nice! There it is! The neutral pee! The first time we see it in a combo, it converts it to a kill! Yep, and the up smash too, a little bit of a charge on it to really make sure that thing was going to be disappearing. And, and uh, honestly, great stuff from Wisp because we saw Run Gunshu in that second stock. It looked like they were definitely starting to get it back into their favor. But again, one, a couple trades back and forth and then finally get that opening. He says, hey, I got this too. <laughs> yeah, he was but like, did you know that also works on dash attack? Fun fact. <laughs> <laughs> what a silly character. All right. Oh, neutral air just not covering the tech, but the tipper... Again, just not converted. Wisp still able to maintain the advantage, still maintaining this advantage state, but the reversal now coming in. And Ron Gunshu, we've seen how far he can push these. Mm -hmm. nope. I would love to see an, an F smash off the back of the uh, dash attack there. I think it may have tippered and just won the game straight out. Yeah. And right now, yeah, Wisp doing a really good job oh, kind of making this final no stand jump. here. But this is so oh. bad. Okay. He got back on the stage, so thank goodness. I was about to say, dude, Wisp is working way too hard in this game three to just to just lose it like that. Yeah, that is that would have been a devastating way to go. No way to convert off of that back air, just too high percent, and now no jump again. Thankfully, allowed to land, but this neutral B conversion coming through time and time again. It's so good, Whoa. and the miss. A second lease on life, but ground once again. No jump. Oh, oh, that might be that it. Be, oh, barely oh, missed. Nice Great air, air dodge. dodge. Yep. No tech. Oh wow. my goodness! And wrong gun shoot. <laughs> just a little too good off stage. Able to put the pressure on to Wisp, forcing him to go just, just too low. Is this best of? Be best of seven. Emergency. Best of seven. <laughs> 